everybody, Mike Rue here. We are actually literally right under the arch on the Mississippi River in St. Louis. I'm tickled, I'm excited, I'm honored to be out here on this trip with Jason Snyder. Hi, you'll remember Jason from all my Spoonbill episodes. Special guest on today's episode is Mizzou and NFL wide receiver Jarrell Jackson. Honored to have him here. Captain, we're hoping you put us on some fish. This young man's personal best. Okay, it's 20 pounds, and we're hoping that you beat that today. We're going to give it a go and see what happens. So we got here some fresh skipjack herring. That's a choice bait out here for blue cats. I just chunk them out. Nothing crazy. Elephants eat peanuts, so you don't need a giant chunk. That's a good saying. Yeah. Ah, so got our pieces right there. Throw that back in the cooler. Throw that back in the cooler. Just hook up through the mouth, split the jaw, come up in there, center it in there, pop through that skull cap. That's not coming off. No, that's staying on there until one grabs it. Nice and bloody, fresh, good looking bait. Because you're fighting the current and the fish. You know oh, I mean? that's true, that's true. He could be a mean 10 pounder or he could be a 30, 40 pounder. <laughs> Can I pull up on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah work that fish. <laughs> yes. Make it happen. Yep, oh yeah. <laughs> Get a little workout with him. Burning. What are you doing? Arms are burning. Oh, the burn. I thought I worked out enough. Are you getting there? I thought you were on the gym. Man, I thought too. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm just trying to muscle them up too fast. Just keep bringing them to your side of the boat over there. So you're fighting a lot of current through here. Yeah. You may. Just keep bringing up your side of the boat there. Top. Right there, you can't reel no more, just pull the rod. Come Woo! Come on, baby! Big boy! Yeah, he look like he been eating good. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, everybody. Yeah, yeah man. Woo! Just like that, you had the black yeah. foam and then cupped that belly. Here you go. <laughs> Back up a little bit, Jarrell, so I can get it all in here. Oh, baby. That was a good one. That's a good one. Estimated weight, Captain? Thing, Mike. Uh, I think we're going to go about 20 ish pounds. 20 ish is a good start to the day. The scale will tell you here. Just hold this phone grip. Just hold this like that. Oh, it's a scale on this? Yeah. Tw uh, 22 pounds. 22, baby. Yeah. That's a big boy. Got a belly on him. Yeah, he been eating. <laughs> Good job. Got us one in the boat, yeah. There's one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm going to stay down here. I'm not going to yeah. go up on the deck. Yep. I feel a head shake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel a head shake, Jason. He 
he's only as deep as the water, so he's only so yes, many feet out. Exactly. This, this, this one gets about a few hundred feet out. It's on the bottom of the wet ice cream. and I walk right in the middle there. There we go, there we go. Not as, not as big as Terrell's, but you know what? I'm on the board. Yep, that's all that matters. <laughs> I'm on the board. That'd be an eater if we are keeping him. Not as big as Terrell's, but you know what? He's my guest, so I have to let him get the big one. But man, are we having fun on the Mississippi River with St. Louis catfishing. Jason Schneiderhahn, we're having a ball. Mizzou Tiger NFL wide receiver Jarrell Jackson is on again. You're having a day, my friend. You're having a day. Oh my gosh! Yeah, baby. Gotcha. Again. Gotcha. Again. <laughs> yeah. Come yeah, Jason, man. <laughs> the man right here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Look what we got right here. I'm telling the Reapers, you. Reapers, baby. <laughs> Mid Mo Reapers Mid -mo getting her Reapers. done on the Mississippi River. Woo! St. Louis catfishing. Oh. oh, there we go. He's probably 18 ish pounds, 18, 19 right there. there. Awesome. Another big boy. Hold him up again. Woo! Drell. What's up? Who's your favorite neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike. He the man. All right. Who's your favorite fishing guy? Dude? There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice job, dude. <laughs> I appreciate it. And we're not done yet, folks. We fish in this area, Arkansas. You gotta have both licenses. Shake, but I don't think he's still as big as Jarrell's big one. I don't know. We'll it looked like now. a big one. Captain Jason's got us on him. Bigger than my last one, Jarrell. That yeah, look good. You ain't seen it yet. Oh, I did. It, it came up for a oh, quick I second. I saw a little color. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. You getting some of that fish, Jarrell? Sure is. Tell me when to walk back. Walk back. I need to get that leader line. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice catch, Mike. Midmo Reapers getting it done on the Mississippi River. Heavier. That one's heavier. Oh, 
Oh yeah. The nice. And now one. we're having fun. Now we're having fun. Good catch, man. I'm going to read that at 17 pounds. I'll let the captain verify that. Yes, sir. 17 pounder. Still haven't beat Jarrell Jackson, but that's okay. He's my guest. Keep trying, man. I hate to say it, but here we go again. Yeah, we back, yeah. Look at that. Got us one. Got us a little buddy compared to where we've been. He come, off, he come way off bottom and grab that bait. Uh -huh. Well, I'm glad to see that, uh, I'm glad to see Jarrell can catch a normal size fish. <laughs> We'll take him. Yeah, he was hungry. Oh, you said that dog was gonna ride Yep. You got us one. They little friend from down the way. Got us another one. Be more reaper. All right, we on another one. Got it going? Yep, yep. That's a big one. Just keep your bounce, got some waves. Look at this, look at this fish. He's pulling, he's right pulling so drag. Right. He hit and he's coming up. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a big one, Mike. Biggest one of the day, probably. Stay tight, stay I got, tight. I got a lot of fish and a lot of current. Twenty pounder. Ready, Jason? Come on. Yep, got him. All right, that's two today. Over twenty. Jason Snyder Holland, SCL Catfishing. We're just basically, I can look up right now and see the arch. We are having a ball. I don't know how it gets better than this. Four over 15 pounds on this trip to over 20. God is good. Well, everybody, there was just too much tugboat noise and wind noise and just too much going on in the boat. I wanted to take a minute to, to let you guys get to know Jarrell Jackson so that you could hear what we're doing. Jarrell, I know uh, you started off in Houston, in the Houston area, came to Mizzou to play football. Yep. And then after your NFL career, you migrated back to Houston area. Yep. What got you back up here to Columbia, Missouri? Uh, good question. So I was kind of in the balance of if I wanted to continue to play football or not. Uh, and my best friend, Michael, uh, Michael Agnew, he was also a football player at Mizzou, All-American tight end. Uh, that's my best friend. So he convinced me to move back up to Columbia where potentially we can maybe start a gym. I thought it was a good idea to potentially come back here, not only work with some athletes, work with some people that's trying to get in shape, but also I can still train for the NFL, right? Yeah. Um, however, God put you in position for a reason, and I that's think right. he brought me back to Columbia to figure out my next purpose. And I ended up training athletes, and man, I fell in love with it. I called my agent and was like, you know what, I think I'm gonna hang up the jersey, you know, and I'm gonna decide to pursue fitness and, you know, athletic performance. Right. 
God's got a plan. Yeah. We don't always recognize that plan on the front end, but it sure does come to us. And we're glad to have you here in Columbia. Tell folks about API. Man, API, my, my favorite place to be besides at home with my beautiful wife and kids. <laughs> um, and like I said, we started working with athletes, and then I also fell into more of a fitness style of gym also. And what we do is our youth athletes come in here, and we try to build a foundation in a prolific way. So we're not just putting them through mediocre workouts. Man, I'm actually training these athletes as if they're collegiate style athletes, uh, very detail oriented, uh, high energy, and, and making sure the intensity is right where it needs to be. Uh, and then my fitness entity, that's the one where I kind of merge as a coach. You got to be a certain style of coach for a, for a certain style of individual. So I got clients all the way from 70 years old, all the way down to college students that's just trying to get in shape. And, and those fitness classes are amazing. Personal training is amazing. And we also have a team of 12 trainers on staff, you know, ready to get people in shape. So it's a good intimate gym where you got support uh, and not just that gym you walk in and don't nobody, you know, say hey to you. There's a great family environment here. Well, that's great. I'm glad the good Lord led you back to Columbia so that we could meet. Yeah. I want to take the folks on a little trip down memory lane, Jarrell. I want to, I want to take us back to, to the fall of 2010. The Oklahoma Sooners rolled in to Columbia, ranked number one in the nation, and they were ready to kick some Tiger butt. Didn't work out for them, did it? <laughs> nah, that Tell didn't. us about that game. Yeah, so that didn't work out like that. So all week, man, we it was college game day for one, so that means that's the biggest game that's playing that week. All right, so all week, man, we're prepping our tail off. Uh, shout out to Coach Pinkle and his staff. Uh, we, we had a great game plan going into that game. And... A lot of doubt was over our head, meaning people wondering why we chose Oklahoma for our homecoming. Right. That was actually our homecoming game. So it, we had like a trifecta. Number one team in the country coming in. It's our homecoming and college game day. College game day. So yeah. it, it was a lot of you know, news articles coming out. It was a lot of people talking about the game. And there wasn't many people thinking Mizzou was going to win that game. Well, I happen to know... The fellow that caught the touchdown to put Mizzou in the lead for good. Tell us about that play. <laughs> while, while, while Jarrell's telling us about that, watch this clip of him scoring that touchdown. Out at Oregon with the running back and the quarterback. Here they spread the field. Fire complete. Breaks out as Jackson. Touchdown. Missouri regains the lead. And another number one in deep trouble. Back and forth game, the entire game. And we finally got a play where I was cutting across the middle. Shout out Blaine Gabbard. Hit me right where he needed to. And at the moment I was catching the ball, we did have someone make contact with me, but I bounced off and continued to run to that end zone, man. And, right. you know, that crowd went wild. That was a sold-out crowd, and the energy was hot. From there, man, we pretty much took off. The defense stops, they had some stops, and then we finished with a, like, go-ahead touchdown with James Franklin towards the end. And, man, that was a great atmosphere, man. And looks like we got them good Mizzou days coming back with That's Oklahoma right. coming back to Columbia this year. Oklahoma's coming back. That's going to be a good thing. Folks, Jarrell Jackson, yeah. not not only uh, my, my fishing partner but my brother in Christ and lives right across the street from me. I'm going to tell you that if you read my articles and watch my videos, you're going to see a lot more of Jarrell Jackson. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe to Midmo Reapers on YouTube.